10 sprints, nine daily dashes, and four hacks. Over the course of five days. Over 3,000 people. This is the Northumbrian Water Group's Innovation Festival 2019. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> That's the kind of spirit we like. It's so exciting to see so many different people coming on site to take part in our Innovation Festival and to collaborate with us to create all of these wonderful new ideas that are going to emerge by the end of the week. There's a polarity in society that I think we have to get past. You know, we have to find ways of connecting with people and, and this event, I think, is indeed a unique opportunity to do that. What are you most looking forward to about this year? Well, it's just brilliant to be back for, you know, in the first place, our third innovation festival, and every year it gets bigger and better, and standing on that stage this morning and looking out on a sea of people who are just so up for it from organisations all over the world, I mean, it's just incredible. Everybody, give the person next to you a hug. Group hugs, love it. I don't think we value skills enough in this country. We judge people so often on their academic achievements rather than actually what they're good at. It doesn't matter what job you've got, you're all just as valuable as each other here, and that's the way society should be anyway. It's looking at my kids like I'm old. How does it feel to see that sea of people ahead of you who are all gearing up for this yeah, festival? Yeah, I mean, it's all, uh, uh, at once sort of uh, overwhelming and a bit humbling as well that all those people have showed up to help us from all those different organisations. That opener was something, wasn't it? I love Duke. Day one's really key, get the input from the people. As we go through the week, then the other difference from just brainstorming is we make something. So it's really key that you ship something. Uh, it might be a prototype, it might be a, a you know, first cut of an app, but it's important to, to, to produce something and that's really what sprinting is, is all about. How do you intend then to inspire people to do a year's worth of work in a week? Okay, lots of fun and motivation. We've got James here from Down South who's really creative in like, making people be thinking outside the box, very lateral thinking. Ordnance Survey is sponsoring the festival for the third year in a row. Um, last year we created the buried infrastructure map, so we got utility data from different companies together and put it into a common map of the underground infrastructure. So we thought this year, let's have a look at the above ground. So we're looking at all those things that are currently missing from our maps that utilities, local authorities and other institutions need to know about. We are well underway with the first day here at the Northumbrian Water Group's third innovation festival here at Newcastle. Everyone's still kind of arriving behind us. We've got businesses and the institutes in these tents as well behind us going through their tasks, which we'll be following throughout the week. Now, over here is a bit of a familiar face. It's just mm -hmm. Steph McGovern just enjoying some rays here, I know, here, Steph. I'm just Hi. like taking it in and like moving with the tunes yeah. and yeah. soaking it all up because it's fab, isn't it? Soak it up, my lovely. That's what it's yeah, all about. Yeah. This is a festival yeah. of innovation all to enjoy yourself. Are you yeah. enjoying yourself? I am, yeah. What's really good about coming here is first off, it's full of northerners, which I love. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, it's the kind of creativity that everyone's feeling free to express, you know. It's about people thinking about how can we solve the problem of, you know, water waste or plastic waste or whatever. It's people who are thinking differently um, to solve things, but the, the problems might not necessarily be new ones, but it's new ways of trying to solve them, more efficient ways, and I guess that's what innovation is. Great thing I saw was loads of young people having a go at solving problems like how do we build bridges that are strong enough? So uh, there was loads of primary school kids yeah. building these amazing bridges and watching how excited they were when they were putting the weights on, <laughs> like trying to get as many weights on and like buzzing when they'd done it. It's that mix of serious business and getting the job done, but also having a nice time and, you know, having a bit of ice cream and having a chat and a laugh as well. What's happening in all of these tents then? So I think what we've learned as a company is that we can't do this innovation thing alone, although innovation is right at our DNA, you know, we're trying to think of new things, trying to tackle new ideas all of the time. So what we've learned is that if you bring people from around the world, diverse people, and you can really crack, you know, really kind of tussly kind of ideas. So we've got people looking at things to do with floods, um, you know, real worry, how can we prevent floods? We've got the digital twinning back with Newcastle University and our kind of poster child innovation, which was our underground map, 
which we cracked last, last year, so they're going to build on uh, and take that forward. We've got Ford and the van for the future, and, 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 and. We've got 10 sprints, nine daily dashes, four data hacks. So, you know, we're going to come up with some incredible stuff. I've been checking in on each of the different sprint tents and I have to say I'm absolutely blown away with the creativity and what has been going on. There is about a 10 million post-it notes all over the place that we're going to make sense of and actually come up with some fantastic ideas for the end of the week. It is the power of a post-it note, right? The power of the post-it <laughs> note indeed. And it's a good job that we've gone for the environmentally friendly ones because we've used a bucket load. <laughs>